this video is about set up the Python environment that we're gonna use. Um, I'm I'm gonna use Anaconda. Anaconda. Um, so I'm using Anaconda Python because it's easy to use, and when it is downloaded, most of libraries that we're gonna use are mostly already installed. So um, I prefer using this. So there is a free download, but then you can download and install it. So um, that's it. Uh, you can just go with the default setting, and then the installing installation will be finished. It takes some time, but um, it's much easier because most of libraries are installed together. So once you download and install it, then you can find that Anaconda is installed together. So um, you will see Anaconda prompt, Anaconda navigator, and some others. So if you did open Anaconda navigator, I already opened it because it takes some time. You will see this. So in the Anaconda, they provide different tools and you can use for your coding these you can use these tools like a, we're gonna use this Jupyter Python but I also spider a lot and PyCharm and you see some says some button is launch and some button requires install so these tools if the button is launch that means these tools are already installed when the Anaconda is installed, and if this button is installed, it's not yet installed, so you can install these tools through the navigator. And the next one, Anaconda prompt, is this one. So it's a terminal where um, you can activate Python, and also you can install something if you need library I said most libraries are installed so mainly you don't need these but there are some libraries you need to install like uh, Audi kit which is chem informatics library and also um, later maybe you need this pumpkin pie so you can um, install library easily in the terminal and how you can you can just search it how to how to install Audikit, and it will show here how to install. So you can just follow, and you see how to install Audikit with Conda. Conda is Anaconda, and many are using Anaconda, so they show the instruction how to install this library in the Anaconda. So uh, these you can how um, this shows how you can install Audikit. So um, that's it, and I said we're gonna use Jupyter. So if Jupyter is already installed, you can find Jupyter like this. Um, if you don't have, you need to install in the Anaconda Navigator. So in the Jupyter, uh, when you open it, you will see this, and also this. Oop. This one, not this terminal. So when you activate Jupyter Notebook, it first shows this terminal and then this page. So it's opened in your uh, browser. So if it's not open, it says to access the notebook, open this file in a browser like this or this. So um, you can access. I have uh, here you can create Python code or folder. So if you create folder and it's somewhere here like untitled folder is a folder I have just made so um, I prefer making folder and put all the data in the folder together so I actually made QSR but I'll, I'll just show you with this example in, in this video I just show you how to do this so here you can actually you can change the name if you click it uh, click rename it 
maybe I should zoom in side so click the folder and then rename it I'm just testing it because I'm gonna remove it after this video but anyway I uh, change the name and it's now test and the test oops what's going on I put this test mm, oh yeah it's it's because I zoomed in the page that's why I couldn't see the top of the page but uh, if you scroll up you can see here this fold inside the folder you can make a file make a Python free then it will take some time but you see untitled I Python notebook extension is shown IPYNB and here you can start your code and I don't like untitled so uh, have fun this is the file I really hope you have fun playing with Python and working on QSAR so um, in most of Welcome to Kyosa. In most of example, they want to show you print. Print. We're going to use this function a lot because it helps you to check your codes are going well or not. And you see this box activated, um, well, emphasized with blue here or green. These are the, we, we call these box cell. And this cell is selected and here it says it's code but there's other option so if you select other option I don't know others but I use markdown then you can make a note here this file is made as an example to show how to use Jupyter Python so um, I like using Jupyter Python because it's well, like a document with the code and if so if it's a code if you type the same thing it will show you an error this is not a syntax what's that well this is just sentence it's not a python code that's why it makes an error message but if it's if this cell is set as a markdown then you can you, can, you will have no problem and here you can use shop but you should have space in between this shop and this sentence then you can make it bigger so um this is jupyter python and we are gonna work through on this uh, we are gonna develop code and we are gonna develop qsa model in this jupyter python